Hi, I'm Noor Plummer, International Netball Coach. These films will help you improve your netball skills and help you understand why you can't smoke. Being healthy is an integral part of playing netball. So how do you think you'll keep the pace if you smoke? Your reaction times will become slower. Your eye won't be on the ball. Your agility and your fitness will be reduced. So if you want to be the best, get your head in the game and be smarter than smoking. For every pass, it's important for players to understand transferring the weight, stepping forward on the opposite foot to the throwing arm is vital to deliver a decent ball in the game. Because all passes, regardless of which one, you need to step forward and use your weight behind the pass. So with the chess pass, it's a two-handed action, which is one of the quickest over the court. It's to take the ball, turn, and not actually drop the arms. It's just flicking it straight off from the chest, and it's used in a short distance, not over a long distance, but it's a great pass for speed. Shoulder pass in netball is probably the most dominant pass within the game. It allows you to really get the ball wound up and deliver with real speed over a longer, longer distance over the court. It's commonly used by all nations within the game. The next pass is an overhead pass. It's a pass that's used often within the game, but not the most sound pass. It's one that can go astray. You do need a lot of power to be able to flick that ball from above the head, and top players can do it, but it needs a lot of practice. The next is the waist-high pass. It's my favourite pass within the game. I grew up on this pass. It's a low, hard pass, released from the waist, and its speed really dominates when you're playing in the game. It's one of those passes that looks fantastic and really has the power. The next pass is a bounce pass. The bounce pass is typically used around the edge of the goal circle to feed into a shooter, but can be used all the way down the court. And you can even use it on a longer pass. It's quite creative when you use a bounce pass. The bounce pass really needs to be delivered out in front for the receiver to be able to pick that ball up quite easily away from the defence. Our next pass is the lob pass. Now the lob is a great pass within the game and can cover a lot of distance, but must be placed. And it must be placed so that the player receiving the ball is running onto it. Often players put it up in the air, but it's intercepted because it's too short. It needs to actually go over the shoulder of the receiving player in the direction she is running. So make the right decision off the court to be better on the court. Be your best. Be smarter than smoking. Yeah.